Ah, hello ladies. Today, our subject is going to be the things that I miss as being a widow. And I don't want this to be a downer because I plan on us working through this whole problem and gaining some joy and peace and happiness back with the help of God and each other, we can do this. And that's why I've created this channel, because I really do want to help you. And I really do care about you. I honestly do. And nobody knows what you're going through except another widow. So today we're just going to talk about the things that you miss. And in my next video, we're going to talk about how to remedy each one of those losses. Because there are ways to get through it. All right, put my specs on. Our first, my first one that, number one, I've actually got 30 things, so I better not take too long on each one. I miss someone to cuddle with and, and to kiss me, or me to kiss them. And it's called skin hunger. And it's natural, and it's normal, it's nothing to be ashamed of. We all had that desire to be held and, and cuddled and kissed and loved. We all have that. So don't be ashamed of it and don't try to deny it's there. It just is. Number two things of the things I miss is someone to share memories with. I mean, how can you share memories with someone else who has no memories with you? And when that loved one dies, all those special moments and memories you have that nobody else really knows about are gone. And you, you can't share them with anyone. And the third thing is someone to talk to at the end of the day. That might be one of the loneliest times is you can find things to do in the daytime or maybe people will come over and visit you. But when the end of the day is here, you just want someone to sit down and talk it over with and share your day with. Your friends, they're most of them married and they have their husbands, so you can't be talking to them or calling them. You don't want to be bothering them. The other thing is someone who knows your history, your children, your grandchildren. You have the same friends. Someone who knows your victories and your losses. They know you. I think that's the whole thing. You Finding someone who really knows you. And not many people know you like your mate did. Someone to have a meal with or to cook for. Uh, it's not as much fun to cook for yourself or exciting. You know, it. my husband's always like, oh, that is so good. You are such a good cook. And just someone to sit down and eat with. I even loved when he was in the living room and I could go take him a meal, you know, and he goes, Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. And I just love spoiling him. How about someone to sleep with at night? And you hear a strange sound or a big storm is going on and you're by yourself. And when the lightning strikes and you just want to reach out and have someone to hug. Or just somebody saw a warm body to be there. Someone to put your arm over and put your leg over and yeah, that's hard. Ooh, that 
kind of brought tears in my eyes for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone to tell your troubles to. Someone who'll just hold you and uh, listen. Gosh, I didn't think I'd be this emotional. Someone to watch TV with in the evening. Just to sit next to him and watch television and watch the news and discuss it. Someone to make decisions with. I've had so many decisions to make, you know, by, by myself. Someone to hold you when, when you have troubles. Um, someone to discuss things with. Ah, uh, someone who has the same friends. I mean, that you could say, oh, so and so, this happened, that happened. They had a new great grandbaby, or they're sick, or something like that. There's no one to discuss that with, or someone who has the same friends. If you're with somebody else, they don't even know who they are, so you can't discuss that. Being, no longer being a couple to do things with your friends. Your friends that you went out with and maybe took a little day trips or a ride with or just had a meal with to celebrate Valentine's Day or birthdays or whatever. And you can't do that anymore. I mean, you can, but it, you're a fifth wheel, you know. Oh, boy. Someone to tell you how nice you look. <laughs> it's important. If you go in there and with all that trouble to put makeup on and dress up to go somewhere and nobody to say, oh honey, you look so beautiful. I miss that. Someone to go to church with. Oh, I really miss that. And someone to go out and eat afterwards. So. You know, I've got my courage up, and I've been going to church by myself. Um, my husband had Alzheimer's, so he was getting pretty bad with that. And then we had the COVID, so that kind of put a, a stop, and we were just watching church on the television at home.